you probably have seen the movie, The Titanic, you know, this huge unsinkable ship that sunk, hit an iceberg, the iceberg tore a big gash in the side of the ship and within a matter of hours, it wound up at the bottom of the sea. There are some very cogent scenes there, but one that stands out in my mind. Before the iceberg was struck, people were happy and they were dancing and drinking and laughing and just having a grand old time. But after the iceberg was struck and the ship they knew was sinking, everything changed. There were those who did begin to pray and those who began to seek the Lord. And you remember the scene where the orchestra began playing on the deck of the ship as it was sinking, nearer my God to thee. The iceberg always is there waiting for us. We always hit it. There's something there that just inevitably will come, some illness unexpected, some death unexpected, financial reversal, some relationship that does not work out. And we hit the iceberg and our little vessel begins to sink. And then we turn to the Lord in prayer. I would say to you, that we need to learn to pray before we hit the iceberg. Base your life upon prayer, upon a relationship with the Lord, upon fellowship with the Lord, upon speaking with him and knowing that he speaks to you. Learn to pray before you hit the iceberg because the iceberg, I assure you, it's out there waiting for us and it helps if we know how to reach out to God before that time comes. Thanks for watching today's Minute Message, Don Howell.